Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to learn how to set up our Next.js 13.4 with TypeScript and Chakra UI. Okay? As you can see, I have an empty folder open it inside my Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to start by running the typical command. I'm going to open my console paste it. Now I want to do this in this current directory. So would you like to use TypeScript? Yes, for this project. As Lint, no problem. Tailwind, no, because we will be using Shakari UI. Source directory, no. App router, for sure. So the app folder, the app router. Customize the default, no. Okay, so let's just wait until this finishes. So now that the installation has finished it, let's just clean up a little bit our initial files. Okay, so we'll, let's go inside app. First, we don't need this. This file can go away. Our globals, I'm going to clean everything inside it. Okay, and we shall go to our root page. We can delete these two imports and inside the return, I'm going to get rid of this main. Okay. And this is it for the moment. Okay, that out of the way, we can continue and now start installing Chakra UI inside our project. So I'm inside the official documentation, I'm going to click Get Started and then I'm going to scroll down, look for Next.js, this framework guide and I'm going to be following this, okay? So you need to install this but I'm going to just mention, you, mention the following For this specific project, I will go with this bit only Why is that? Because this Emotion React, Emotion Stylet, actually are packages that relate to CSS stuff. And we won't need them as we will be using Chakri Y. So I'm actually a bit confused why this is kind of recommended for the installation if Chakri Y is going to replace the typical CSS. So. And also Framer Motion. This is for you to Framer Motion is is um, the way you animate your website, your application. So you don't need that. I mean, I don't need that for this specific tutorial. So I'm gonna go just with these two packages that actually relate to what I'm trying to do. So you need to make sure that you have what you need in case you need more. So in the older version of Next.js, we had the page, uh, the pages folder, but now we have the app folder, the app directory, which means this needs to be a little bit different, the configuration, okay? And I'm gonna mention right away that when you use some sort of providers, as far as I know, you always need to use use client. Okay? We know that we are using the latest Next.js version. And for that reason, of course, all the components are server-side components by default. But uh, Chakra UI needs to be a client-side component. Otherwise, it will not work. So I'm just going to copy this and create this file, providers.tsx inside app. So, providers.tsx, I'm gonna paste all of that, okay? Cool. What else? Now we need to use the providers to wrap our children, so the content of your app. And for that, we need to go inside layout. Firstly, import the providers. So you can use them, of course. And then use them to wrap the children. Cool. So now 
let's go and create a route inside our project and call this route out to so all the routes have the usual syntax which is page dot js or in this case tsx for typescript right and rfc i don't need this and this is going to be called um how to guide okay so firstly let's let's just run our development server npm run dev and see if this is all working okay so the root is working we definitely see home so top left corner good let's test our route and we call it this route how to how to let's check for any errors looks like we have no errors which is fine which is great cool so now we need to use chakra ui to do a bit of styling so i'm gonna go to my auto page and i'm actually gonna first of all as i said chakra needs to use client okay after that i'm gonna copy a few imports from chakra all the components that i need and in this return i'm just gonna copy paste the content there's no point to spend time explaining you these components because you can simply google them but as you can see it is working okay cool so this is all working and this means we successfully install it Shakri Y in our next next JS project using TypeScript. Okay, cool. So now we have our next JS 13.4 project using TypeScript and Shakri Y. And this works. No problems, no errors, all good. But the thing is if you want to use metadata you have several uh, routes and you want to use metadata how are you going to do this so this is time for a confession i tried to use metadata on on this page and i could not why is this because metadata cannot be used in conjunction with use client but for you to use shakri y you need to use use client in case you are using the latest Next.js version, as I'm showing you here. So, I tried several ways and I couldn't make it work using the latest Next.js version. I couldn't use metadata here in this page so this is kind of a confession and a challenge okay uh, so can you figure out a way to make this work can you figure out a way to use what we have here and also add specific metadata for this page while using the latest next.js version so this is the challenge in the future 
I will possibly try to do this again. But trust me, I spent long, long minutes trying to figure out this and I couldn't. So if you can, great. Let me know in the comments, share with the other viewers, because if people decide to go with Next and uh, Shakri Y, chances are that they also need to use some metadata, even static metadata. So if you know a solution, please leave that solution in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.